Good day to you, my name is Mind Jim, and today I want to show you another painting of mine. First I started with sketches, I knew I wanted to be on, on, on a top of a hill looking down at a, a village or a city. And when I was happy with the sketch, I sketched it up on my canvas with acrylics. So for this guy I had this reference photo and I also kept the theme of the very dramatic evening sky uh, on my whole uh, on the whole uh, painting. So I wanted to talk to you about all the mistakes I think I made and also if I uh, found, found any new tips and tricks for myself. I, I keep learning uh, after each painting I learn something new so I uh, tend to keep all my paintings even bad ones and perhaps go back and correct it when I when I think I uh, learned something new and I think I can improve on them or at least I keep them as a reference to see my progress Also, another thing that's not as visible on the sketch, but is very clear on the painting, is that the the first house down the hill is uh, has has two large windows and doors compared to the size of the house. Uh, at first, I I thought it was uh, kind of cute. You, you, it could be some kind of fantasy land but it doesn't go together with the rest of the painting which is uh, somewhat realistic looking so I probably need to change the size of the windows and doors or I should make all the windows on the other houses a fairly similar size. So uh, one of the things I really messed up with that was not as apparent on this sketch is that the, the mountains on my paintings are way, way too big. They're like Mount Everest for being that far away. And also the peaks are too steep, so um, either I should make them darker to, to bring them closer uh, or I should even even them out uh, another thing is uh, the water is um, nothing is happening there so I might uh, change that at a later state when I think of something to make the that area more interesting. One thing I I think works uh, for me at least is on the edges of stuff like the on the roof of the uh, house here. I there's a lot of blue coming in before the house beyond that and that gives the illusion of distance and at least I think so and I've uh, I kept do doing that on a few painting and I, I think I like it but it's not uh, you should not take well anything I say as uh, guidance more like uh, this is m more a, more of a diary for myself to understand what I did wrong and what I think I did right. And the uh, light posts that I have, that's something I think I picked up from Thomas uh, Kincaid, where he mentioned something about uh, bring the eye into the painting, uh, the, the eye will follow the lead, so you have a clear 
um, reference or indication of where where you want your focus point. Well, I, I think that's it. This is the look of the painting at this stage. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think I learned a lot. And I'm already looking forward to, for my next painting. So that's it. And if you want to see more of my paintings, check out the rest of my YouTube uh, painting playlist and also uh, on my uh, portfolio website at uh, mindgem.se and also if you want to check out my graffiti stuff check out my other website at customgraffiti.net and that's it for me please subscribe and i see you later okay bye